What is going on everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture, and today I am at my shipping station, shipping out some books that I just sold on my Whatnot Live sale, but I'm here to show you guys how I package comic books, and this is going to be specific to when I do not use Gemini mailers. Now, everyone you know, lives and breathes by Gemini mailers, or at least many of us do, and, and I do as well. I ship a lot of books out that way, especially if I need to ship first class. But there are ways to ship and package comic books that'll give them maybe even extra protection than a Gemini mailer without using one. I promise you guys this. We're going to show this off today, but before we get into the video, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Check out all the awesome links below as well. I make comic book content almost seven days a week, but let's get into the video. So we got two books. They were in one order here. I got my package slip. It is folded inside so you guys not don't see anybody's personal information. We got a, uh, an awesome 20 Cent Avengers book, Star Wars High Republic, number one. All right. So the first thing that I do is, and you could do this with two books. You could do it with, you know, probably up to six books, depending on if you're going to be shipping it in a box or an envelope or a Gemini mailer. But... You definitely can do this with more than just two books. But since we only have two, what I do, I flip them and pancake them back to back. All right. I take the packaging uh, slip. I always include a journal's comic sticker. Put that right between them. Sandwich them down. And the next thing I pull out is my painter's tape. Painter's tape is essential on comic books. I never recommend using any type of packaging tape, whether it's clear or solid, on the actual books, especially the bags and boards, because one, you know, if you got them in nice brand new bags and boards, it can definitely rip the bags and boards. But more importantly, it is very hard to get off. And oftentimes, if you use packaging tapes on the books and they're trying to pull out the packaging tape to get the books you know, separated, the individual can essentially bend and damage the books in doing so. Painter's tape is very easy to peel uh, right off. So again, I stand behind painter's tape. So I hit all four sides of the books. You don't need to use too much, you know, too long, just, just enough so it can Fold right over. Once you have this, you know, you got them bagged and boarded. There, there's still no real protection in the shipment process. So you're going to want to have some cut cardboard. Now these, here's a tip, recycling. I recycle so much materials that I get either from purchasing comic books through the mail. I reuse Gemini mailers. These came from my CGC order. So between every book, there were these. So hey, why not? I don't need to cut them, they're perfectly shaped. But then I also use priority mail boxes and envelopes as well, but for the boxes, I can cut them out to whatever shape I need. Uh, you can use medium flat rate boxes, large flat rate boxes, whatever you need, and you can cut them down to size. You can get USPS priority mail supplies for free. You could go into your local U uh, post office and ask them for some, or you can even order some online at USPS.com. So I have two pieces of cardboard here. I'm gonna take my books now and slide them, stack them right in the middle of this board. I want space on each side, so uh, when it's in the shipment process, no edges are peeking out that can be damaged, right? And what am I gonna do again? I'm gonna use more painter's tape. I'm gonna take this to the board, why? Because again, even if I sandwich these together and, and take these up, those books can slide around in there and that's a no-no and they can definitely get damaged. So, I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna make sure too, after I put it on the book, that I stick it down right there so it's on the board on this side and flipped around and stuck on the other side. That's very important because again, that helps pre prevent the books from actually sliding around like crazy. So again, 
press down there, press down there, fold it over. All right, do it to all sides. All right, now that we got that taped in, we get our other cardboard that we're gonna use to basically sandwich those books in there. And then, now, I can use packaging tape. We are clear of the comics, so I am gonna use packaging tape on each side of the two cardboard pieces. And again, you don't gotta go, whoop, you don't gotta go crazy with it. Just enough to make sure it's secured on both sides. You wanna make sure both boards are as even as can be. All right. <clears throat> so there we go. Now, if the if the if you the package moves around like this. Those books are not slipping and sliding. Very hard to bend unless, you know, you actually link. <laughs> and we're trying to bend it. But that's not where I stop with protection, folks. As you see here, we have a few different types of envelopes. I'm going to grab this one. This is a flat rate envelope bubbled. It's a bubble envelope. I cut my cardboard pieces down just right so they would have, again, enough room uh, out to, to support the size of the comics, but as well as to be able to fit in one of these flat rate bubble envelopes. You essentially can use any envelope, bubble envelope for this, but uh, again, you could get supplies from USPS. Now, it is sticking out a little bit here and you're not going to be able to completely close this, but guess what? I'm not using this to ship. I'm not using this to ship. You'll see what I mean in a moment. I am going to take this off and I am going to flap, flip this over so it sticks. I'll get a little piece of packaging tape just to make sure. See, that would have been like this. Otherwise, I'm going to close it over like that. Boom. Now, you got the two cardboard pieces sandwiching the books and you got a bubble package giving it extra protection. This is essentially just like wrapping it up in some bubble wrap, right? Now, what are we going to mail it in since I'm not going to stick the shipping label on this? I'm going to get this bad boy right here. This is another priority uh, mail flat rate envelope. This is a legal flat rate envelope. It's just big enough that I can stick this in here just like that. But guess what? I'm not going to use this to ship it in either. We're not going to... Slap the label on this one. We're going to close this up though. So I'm going to peel this. Try to fold this over the best that I can. Just like that. There we are. Now we're going to grab this guy right here. This is another priority mail envelope. Uh, this is the Tyvek. It's actually water. I don't know if it's waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. So it, again, it's very flimsy, but you have multiple layers now on top of your books. We got cardboard. We got them bag and boarded, obviously. Always want to bag and board them. We got cardboards, uh, cutouts. We got the bubble envelope. We got this envelope right here, giving it a little extra more protection. And now we're actually going to mail it in this. Now, look, this is a little longer than this. So all I need to do, there's going to be enough room in here to just bend that over a little bit and to make sure that it's just not flopping around. I'm going to grab another little piece of packaging tape, throw that on there like that, and boom, there we go. Now I can open this up. Let's stick this down. It doesn't really matter how you put it in, as long as you get it in. There it is. Look at that. Now we can take this off. Close this up. Get all the air out of it. The best that you can. Sometimes it's kind of impossible to get all the air out of it. There we go. All right. So I do have 
the packaging slip uh, right here. Obviously, I'm not going to show that personal information. Got your scissors, cut out the slip, uh, packaging tape to put it on, and boom, your comics are ready to be shipped. There it is, folks. This is what I do when I am not using Gemini mailers. Again, this process can work uh, from one book, probably up to about six books. After that, you know, you're going to really look at, at, at how uh, wide these are and how much can width can actually fit into them. You know, when you got six books stacked between two cardboards, it's, it's going to be a little bit tough to get it into the this envelope, that's for sure. Uh, even this one, but again, there's always uh, other options you can actually use, just standard bubble wrap, which I have a whole bunch down here. You know, you can just wrap that around the books and then try to see if it'll fit in here. But again, this is just my process. It works very, very well. If I have a larger order, obviously I am using boxes and that's a whole other video, but. I hope to have another satisfied customer with this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on how I package my books when I'm not using Gemini mailers. Again, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please take some time to do so. Be well, and until next time.